Hey everyone, it is a Tuesday. Say hello. It's about time for lunch and we're gonna try something out for us and for you. A few months ago, Hamburger Helper came out with a bold series. What does bold mean exactly? Spicy. Is it a hotter flavor? Is it stronger? Or is it going to light our world on fire? We're going to let you know. As the package suggests, we have one pound of hamburger here getting ready to brown. Then we will add in some hot water and the sauce mix and the pasta and heat it up to boiling. I have a kitchen helper today. Ooh, I hear the heat. It's really odd filming yourself while you cook. This looks all browned up to me, so we're gonna get it off the heat and drain it. So we drained off the beef and I added in two cups and three fourths of water and poured the beef back into the pan. Now I'm getting ready to stir in the pasta and the sauce mix and we're gonna heat that up till it boils. We're not boiling yet, but one thing I forgot to mention for you all, the recipe says that you can add in tomatoes, a whole tomato diced up and a can of kidney beans. It says actually one or the other. I went ahead and did both just because I like a lot of vegetables in my hamburger helper because I consider hamburger helper a helper and not just the meal itself. This should be nice. It also makes it more filling and it makes it go a long way, which is nice for us because Scott usually has to take food either to work or to school and it gives me more to pack up for, for him later. Oh, and Scott is making rice. Yep, got it on the rice cooker already. The point of this is A, to add an extra filler because I eat a lot. Also, if it just happens to be like too hot over there with the hamburger helper bowl, it'll kind of cut down the heat. We're hoping. We heated it up to a bowl and now we've turned it down to like to simmer. I put it down kind of between one and two, just, I don't know, I, I tend to Eh, more on one and covered it up. I don't have a lid big enough for this pan, so I've just used tinfoil, which is a nice little life hack for if you don't have a lid for something. Now we're just gonna wait. That can chill out there for about 12 minutes and until the rice gets ready and then we'll be ready to try this baby. Sorry for the change in quality for the video. Kind of, well, the battery ran down on the camera. So right now we're vlogging off the phone. Here's the moment of truth. We're getting ready to try Hamburger Helper's Firehouse Chili Macaroni. First off, I'll show you what it looks like. We used a cup of rice on the bottom and a cup of the hamburger helper here, and we topped it with a little bit of cheese. So honey, how hot is hot? At the moment, not too bad. I mean, it tastes like chili. So it's not like jalapenos flaring up in your mouth? No. I mean, it tastes like chili, but it's not spicy hot. I feel a little bit of heat in the back of my throat, slowly starting to grow. So would you even consider it bold? Not really. Not at first bite. Give me a couple of bites. Let's see how she likes it. I feel the heat, but it's not unbearably spicy like I thought it might be. I taste the chili pepper, but yeah, it just reminds me of like my grandmother's chili. She used to make really warm chili with macaroni in it. So right now I like it. Yeah. 